Before we get into the news, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our videos. Thank you. Don't come to the hospital unless it's a real emergency, says the Northern Inyo Healthcare District. On the COVID-19 pandemic front, Inyo County has some good news and some bad news, like everything else about this virus. During a local media phone conference last Friday, December 11th, the Northern Inyo Hospital District shared some concerns. Inyo County is in the middle of a surge of COVID-19 cases. The respiratory care unit is full, as are the intensive care unit beds, and hospital beds are filling up. A few days ago, the virus took yet another life, and then just yesterday, yet another. On Wednesday, December 16th, the U.S. shattered COVID records for new cases and deaths, even as vaccines are now being distributed. There were 247,403 new coronavirus infections and more than 3,656 deaths reported in a single day. New records of cases and deaths are being broken across the country, and Inyo County is no exception. The hospital needs the public's help and cooperation says Dr. Will Timbers, the chief medical officer for the healthcare district. While we are well positioned, we have finite resources, he says. The biggest concern right now is our own staff. We need the community to be realistic and realize we need them to partner with us. The community is the first line of defense against this, and we are the last line of defense and it's up to the community to step up and do their part. The hospital shared that as of last Friday morning, the intensive care unit at the hospital had four patients in critical condition in their four ICU staffed beds. There were other patients that would normally be in the ICU being treated in the hospital's inpatient facility. Another problem, People often use the emergency room rather than making a regular appointment with their primary care provider. Doing so takes away medical attention from those that are in the ER with very serious needs. If you are really concerned and feel you have an emergency, by all means go to the ER. But whenever possible, call your health care provider, doctor, or the hospital or clinic first rather than just showing up. Stacy Brown, the director of the Rural Health Clinic, said, thankfully, we spent hours and hours in March and April preparing just for this. Allison Partridge, NIH's chief nursing officer, told Sierra Wave and local media on the conference call that we have surge plans that are ready to be implemented, which would double our capacity. The hospital district needs our help. We, the community, needs to do our part by wearing our mask, washing our hands, keeping our distance, and following the guidelines and rules so we can curb the spread that is really already happening. Vaccines are on their way, but they will not be largely available for months for most people, most likely at the earliest spring or even summer. The Northern Inyo Hospital received vaccine today and is already vaccinating its priority staff. They also have voluntary weekly testing for all staff starting last week. Meantime, they want the public to continue practicing good COVID-19 prevention and continue to get tested. But mostly what they need right now from us, stay home and do not come to the hospital unless you have a dire emergency and always call first, don't just show up. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when we post a new story. Thank you, have a good day.